Yo, what it is, world? It's your boy, J News, and you are now tuned in to Not Rated Radio on Dash Radio's Dash Discover. And today, we got a talented duo in the building. I would like to introduce the one and only, the Savages. How you doing, ladies? What's up? What's, What's up? What's good? How you doing? Doing all right. You know, it's a, it's a little gloomy out here in Hollywood, but you know, it ain't going to stop the shine, you know. That's right. <laughs> I dig it. You know. Now, we, uh, we had an interview uh, a while back, but... For all our new listeners and supporters out there, we're just going to give a brief summary individually. Uh, tell us who you guys are and um, how'd y'all make the group together. I'm Jet Dope. I'm Hot as Kel, Kelly. And we're the Savages. Hey. What's up? And we met in LA. It's been a while, like, what, four, four yeah. plus years. Mm -hmm. um, we were doing skits. Okay. Literally every week we were meeting up, um, going to the sketch house posting on Instagram and we just formed a bond because we were always shooting with the guys and we was like, we need to do something for the ladies. You know, we always together. We always in everybody else gets. Mm -hmm. So we um started our group chat and we were talking and we were like, you know, we some savages. Yeah. And that's how we came up with our name. And Jet was already doing music. She's been doing music for a, a long time. Um, And it just grew from there. Okay. All right, I dig that. I like that. It's like, wait, we the savages. Y'all must be doing some savage, savage shit on that on the little skits. We was talking skits. about some savage. <laughs> I know, right? It was like we the female twenty one savage. So, yeah, I ain't mad at that. So now, uh, talk about both of y'all have uh, degrees, right? Yes, we're both college educated. I graduated from Cal State Dominguez, and I went to USC. Go Gamecocks. My degree is in biology. Mine is in communication. Mm, okay, I think that we got some educated women in here. God damn, exactly. you feel me? We smart and we pretty, you know. <laughs> nah, <I laughs> we respect, smart and savage. All I right. respect the shit yeah. out of that. Now, <laughs> talk about the transition from, um, you know, having your degrees to, you know, doing music. Was there any, like, uh, you know, um, any, any, like, any issues with that, or how, how did that all come about? Yeah, well, I've always been into like entertainment, acting, um, music, everything. It's just, you know, growing up in the South, they tell you go to school, get a mm -hmm. job. Yep. You know, no matter what you want to do, like you got to go to school and get a job. But, you know, I, I have always been big on education regardless. I always wanted to, you know, go to school and get my degree. Um, so I encourage everybody to go to school. But um, it was kind of a transition, you know, from being in corporate as well, mm -hmm. um, coming over to, you know, mainstream, like, but this is what I've always wanted to do and I love it. Okay. Yeah, it was the same for me too. I was actually the first one in my family to graduate, so that was like a big goal for myself, but I always knew I wanted to do music, so I just knew that if I ever wanted to pursue a career that that would be like my backup just in case. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that, I like that, you know, just, I like I like women that have multi talents. You know what I'm saying? You're not just sticking to the one thing and just praying that it goes well. You're like, nah, fuck this. We gonna get it yeah. by exactly. any means necessary. You we did. Get to the bad. <laughs> you have to be useful. You know what I mean? You have to know how to do more than one thing because you can't always rely on everybody. So you got to do it yourself. Hey, that yeah. right there is the truth. God mm -hmm. damn it, straight up facts. Okay, now let's talk about the music. Now I know y'all got some singles out. Y'all got some videos out. Talk about the, the most recent one that y'all just dropped or about to drop and just give the fans and supporters a little insight on that. Yeah, so we just dropped our new single, Rich Bitch Shit. Hey. Yes, it was about, what, a week ago? Yeah, it's been a week. And our video's out now, so you have to check it out on YouTube. It's super sexy and it's such a vibe. Yeah, it's a bounce record, like she said, and it's about being rich, getting to the bag. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a rich girl, a rich guy, you can vibe to it because we really promote, like, like we said, getting to the bag, getting to your money, being independent. Mm -hmm. Like when COVID hit, like, you know, you got to have like multiple streams of income. So mm -hmm. just like trying to it's about being your own boss and yeah. just having fun. Hey, I like that too. About so who did you guys work on producer wise? Um, talk a little bit about that. Did you collab with anybody new or is it somebody in the camp? Yeah, so we uh, collabed with Scroll Genetics. We did a couple records with him. And when he had uh, played the beat for me, I was like, oh, my God, this is what me and Kelly's been looking for because we've been looking for a twerk record. And mm -hmm. me being from Dallas and having that bounce sound, you know, just reminded me of my childhood because I grew up where a lot of the people from Katrina moved to Dallas. So we had to, like, infuse our culture. So when I heard that song, it just, like, hit home. They at home. Mm -hmm. What about you? 
Yeah, but me being from the South, so my verse on the second part, I'm like, I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? And you know that's coming from the South. That was Webby. So, like, hearing that, it really took me back to, like, the South growing up. Like, being in the the most ghetto is hood spots, like, dancing. And, you know, um, like she said, like, when I heard it, I just knew, like, it it's going to be a hit. And we definitely wanted to pit this out ASAP. So we're excited. It's out now. We need everybody to go stream mm-hmm. it, do a TikTok to TikTok, it. TikTok, mm-hmm. TikTok, everything. And like, run it, it up. run it up. Run it up. I dig that. Yes, I dig that. So do y'all have a, y'all have a video for it, right? Yeah. Okay. So make sure y'all run it up on the streaming and the YouTube views. Not rated yes. radio fans out there. You know, let's get it. Let's get it going. Now, when it comes to the studio um, recording, um, when you guys, uh, when you ladies are in the studio, do you have any like times where like, oh, I think you could spit that better, Jet, or hell, I think you could spit that better? Do you have that type of times, or is it always just like on point? Nah, we always on each other. Yeah, That's good. we do. always on each other because we don't want to go back to keep re-recording it. I mean, uh-huh. if we have to, because we want to perfect it, but we try to get it in the first session. Even though it might take us four or five times, we got to hit it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I really respect her opinion. I'd be like, girl, what you think? Should I do it over, you know, make it better? Because we always want to have the best version out as possible. Yeah. Okay. Now, is it like um, a competition between y'all or anything like that? Like, I got to have the hottest verse. I got to have it better than Kale. I got to have it better than Sometimes, because she be spinning we, them bars. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we, I we switch hard. off. Like, <laughs> like, sometimes, like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do the hook or she'll do the hook or we'll share it. Or I'll be the first first, or she'll be the first first. So we always like take turns on that. I dig that. Okay, mm-hmm. at least it's no like no hating within the group because you know there's a lot of you know groups these days. But oh no, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like at least it, it's, y'all seem real genuine, so and humble too. Oh. So I definitely respect that. Uh, oh yeah, I dig, I dig it. I dig it. So with uh, what would say? What would y'all say? What separate? is going on right in front of Dash? Damn. Oh lord, y'all. Oh Pop man. Just rolled up. And they arresting the kid. They arresting the kid. That is oh, wild. Yeah. This has never happened before. Okay. And she looks scared, nervous. If y'all can't see, y'all can't see it. But uh, there's a lot going, <laughs> a lot like, going down right now in front of Dash uh, Studios. Uh, what I was saying is, what separates y'all from uh, other female duos? I think us being like from the South and then also living out here in L.A., we're like a mix of like the South and the West Coast. Mm-hmm. And I think that's different. And plus that we're a duo. I mean, there's another duo out there too, but we're just different from them because we're from other parts of the world and we grew up in a different area. So when me and Kelly kind of combine our talent, it just brings something new to the table. Yeah. Like she said, like our upbringing, like I'm from the South. She from, from Dallas. We've been in LA. So we got some Cali vibes. Like mm-hmm. she's half Latin, okay. half Colombian. So we got some Latin vibes, we got some Southern vibes, we got some West Coast vibes, and like we just like to have fun, like you know, and we independent get into the bag, and I would say that separates us a lot. Like we just being ourselves, being exactly. yourselves. Y'all ain't got nobody else to be. Y'all just be like, nah, fuck that. We us, the savages. This is what we, this is what we do. Like we just talking yeah. about what we do. Just real life. Real life. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> Now, um, you have an album that you girls are working on called Girls With Attitude. Now, talk a little about that. When is it dropping? Who's the, you know, any features on there? And anybody that you work with on the album? Yeah, so we're so excited to drop the project. It's going to be coming out very soon. Me and Kelly been in the studio all year. We got like over 40 songs, so we got to mm, definitely... Grinding. Cut it down to the top, top, you know what I'm saying? But you're going to be surprised. You're going to see us being, like, very versatile. We're going to talk about, you know, the the turn-up shit that we always do. But then we're going to get real, talk about, you know, getting out the mud, where we from, and then, you know, some lovey-dovey because, you know, we need some love and some break-up <laughs> songs that right. might be a little sad. But, yeah. you know, it's, it's a vibe. Like, everybody could get into it. Yep, I can't wait. I'm ready. Like you ready, huh? I'm ready for y'all <laughs> to hear this project because, like she said, we can show so much and like, you know, it's cool drop on a song, but we got all types of vibes. Like everybody can listen to the savages. Yeah, so it's just like I like that because you 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 hear like different sounds from different artists. Like talk about one thing, but it just seems like y'all got a variety of things that y'all talk about on album. So that's exciting to hear. Yeah, we definitely want to show our fans and open up more to them and show that there's like different sides to us, you know, mm-hmm. than just what y'all think us being a savage all the time. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because we females, we got feelings. You know? <laughs> we got feelings. I hear yeah. that. We be feeling some type of ways. Every other day is something new. So we always, you know, it depends how we feel that day, what we rap about. Yeah. Okay, I hear that. Now, is the uh, the single that y'all have out now, is that the single that y'all pushing from the album? Yes. Yes. RBS. RBS. Rich, bitch, shit. Yes, yep. there we go. There we go. All right. Now, with uh, what are some uh, future goals that you would like to achieve with your music? We both definitely want to be on Billboard. Okay. We want to Number win one. Grammys. Number one, Number God damn it. only. <laughs> You know, we're excited because we work hard. We got great music. We got a great team. And we just looking up like we're, we're business women. We want to be moguls. We want to take over the music industry mm-hmm. and just build our brand. Like we want to get just into everything. Yep. Now, stepping away from music a little bit, um, what, what other business ventures that y'all have? Do y'all have clothing lines going on? It seems like y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all got the style down pat. We some entrepreneurs over yeah, here. Yeah, I, I see y'all. I see it. <laughs> you know, Kelly got a lot, but I, I got my swim line. You know what I mean? Okay. About to venture into some other things. But right now, if you want to go to jetwetcollection.com, get you a sexy bikini. I got a little discount sale going on for the fall. Mm. Yes, and I have a boutique as well, and I just started my waist training company hey, called Curse, Curse for Me. me. Uh huh. So, and guys can you know you can shop with me too because I got sweatbands, oh, okay. I got the little wraps. So y'all go to curseforme.com, get you a little band. I get y'all a discount code. Hey, <laughs> there you go. So get hooked up with the music and the merch, goddamn it, and stay fly out there. You dig? You so dig. yeah, I, I, I fuck with all that. Y'all, y'all got some shit popping right now. All right, so with um with the with the music and everything, and you guys um you know doing the entrepreneur stuff, what other um business visitors besides the clothing that y'all have planned in the future for yourselves? Mm-hmm. Me and Jet always talking about what else we can do, even though we're busy, you know, with music, with our businesses. You know, we both graduated school. We're like, what else can we do? And we were like looking into getting into real estate. We seen Ari Ooh, just okay. bought that. Bought that what twenty eight point eight oh, yeah. acres of land. Yeah, that land we right need there. Stuff like, that. I need some generational wealth. <laughs> exactly. We need to begin to the bag like that. So like we just trying to build and build some legacy. Gotcha. The sky's the limit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the sky is the limit. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so you got that popping. Now, y'all got a lot of shit popping. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got shit to talk about. Usually it's just be motherfuckers up here. It's like uh, <laughs> just wait on it. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, y'all got shit we really great. booming and popping. So. I got the utmost respect for that. Thank you. Um, so during this whole COVID-19 and, you know, this pandemic uh, that we're going through, what we seem to get out of, did this have any slow in the process or did this make y'all grind more? In the beginning, it did because it stopped us from doing our shows. Mm-hmm. And that that's what was really good in our fan base and us connecting to our fans. So then after that, we had to just do everything on the Internet. And Kelly was already kind of good at that, so I had to, like, catch up on that and just do a lot of, like, you know, content. Mm -hmm. We had to do more photo shoots, more TikToks, more reels, more all of that just so we could get to our fans and they could hear the music. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, before that, we was out in the streets. Yeah. (laughs) Man, we was really out in the streets. Listen, we used to put, like, advertisement on trees. And, oh, y'all was like, doing the, the whole footwork. With the okay. QR code. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we was putting footwork. So if you walked on the street, you would see us. But it was just it like, was at the time, nobody was outside. You yeah. remember Hollywood was Hollywood dead. Was dead as shit. Everything was boarded up because of the rise and shit. It was just like looking yeah. crazy out here. Crazy. So we definitely had to do everything on the internet. So that was a big yeah. transition. Okay. Well, when everything starting to come back together, you have any shows lined up? Um, if you do talk to the people where they can, you know, catch you live. So we need y'all to hit up y'all local promoters. Yes. Everybody like we're trying like to that. be <laughs> everywhere. Um, like she said, we love performing. That's our main thing of how we reach our fans and connect with our fans. So mm-hmm. we we definitely want to be on the road. Mm-hmm. And we're available for hostings, too. So we just had one a couple weeks ago in L.A., so we open to doing some more, but definitely back home in the South. Yeah, we need to get in the South. Yeah. We need to get sure. in the South. Well, I know they for sure, they open down there. Mm-hmm. They ain't they even have a COVID. Open. <laughs> they been open. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Got to get it popping then with the shows. Remember, we were supposed to perform at Southwest. <laughs> it was. Right before COVID. We was really about to decide, like, are we just going to do it or not? But then they we canceled it, like, go. the week yeah. of. I didn't even get my money back for everything. Girl, you didn't. I know we was all I was high. so mad. Oh, y'all was supposed to do the Southwest? 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. We, gonna do we it had a little year. tour. We was going to do Dallas, Houston. Man, we, we had like a few shows lined up, actually. Yeah. Maybe like four. Damn, COVID. I know. <laughs> I'm like, but can't you wait a couple more months later? Damn. Right. We're about to get back, y'all. <laughs> That's right. That's okay. right. I hear that. Um. Okay. Well, stepping back into this interview, I got a few more questions before we wrap this up. Um. But what is some advice uh, for... That you can give to you know the female artists or duo that's coming up in the game that you've seen in the game that'd be like I can just shed some light on that because nobody told me this when I was starting up in the beginning. So what would you say about that? That's a really really good question. I would say to not give up and to just really work on your craft. Like I know people say don't give up, but really like if you're really consistent and you stay working on your craft, like you're gonna have your break and you're gonna you know get to your goals so i would just say work hard exactly what she said because i've been doing this for years and now you see where it got me so i mean there's no really no time limit it just depends like how much work you put in mm-hmm. how but much work y'all only. put in y'all mm-hmm. man y'all can't be out there slacking thinking y'all is gonna get everything handed to you, you know you gotta put real work in it may take some years but hey as long as you don't give up you don't get there you know exactly you stay ready you ain't got to get ready that part right there um okay so now let's talk about before we end this um where can everybody check out your music where can they follow you on social media the whole nine so they can get more in touch with the savages oh yeah you can follow us on all platforms these savages with a z official that's on instagram twitter tiktok thriller everything everything All that. Yeah, All that. So run up the numbers, too. y'all. Stop playing with these girls right here, man. Run up them numbers. Run up them streams. Get in tune with them when they got you know, the shows, the hosting. Book them. Get, make them booked and busy, God damn it. That part. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, check out our Savage Talk. We have a, okay. a little talk segment on oh, our page. On Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram. And it's TikTok. been going up, going viral. Like, the last one got, like, 500K. Mm, okay. But we talk about some stuff that people are scared to talk about. Just talk about real you know, life stuff. Real life stuff. And we leave the floor open. So come to the page, comment, and let us know what y'all want us to talk about. So y'all heard of them. Man. Y'all heard of them, man. Stop playing. Get in tune with them. Well, ladies, I just want to say thank you for hopping on Not Radio Radio Dash Radio. It was a pleasure to chop it up again. Get the, you know, the future plans that y'all got coming out. I can't wait to hear the album. So make sure y'all go check out them. And thank you. Thank, Thank you, you again. For having Thank us. you. Savage no Gang. Savage Gang. We hey, out. Hey, and we gone. <laughs>